Dollar Pro Advanced Customizations Medial Arch Pad A medial arch pad is a semi-circular or semi-domed shaped pad added to the top surface of an orthotic under a top cover for long-term protection. It is highest at the central point of the medial border and tapers to the edges. It is commonly placed to support the MLA from calc to first metatarsal head, spanning from the medial border of the foot and ending at the lateral column. The dollar arch pad height and shape has been designed based on feedback from health professionals. The dollar poron arch pads are self-adhesive with 3M tape backing and are available in three sizes, small, medium and large, and in two heights of 3mm and 5mm to cover paediatric to adult patients. Selection of arch pad size and height is based on foot morphology and pathology, or the required arch height increase depending on the orthotic arch height and other variables including postings. Medial arch pad shape. The pad can be left as standard shape out of the packet or customised including the dimensions and heights or further customised with cutouts, grooves, apertures or divots based on the pathology or to influence foot function. Medial arch pad positioning. It most commonly runs from the medial anterior calcaneus to the first metatarsal head, spanning from the medial border of the foot and ending at the lateral column. The high point of the arch pad can be placed as required in relation to the foot morphology, orthotic shell shape or presenting pathology. Options include a standard, anterior or posterior position. This will change the relative calcaneal inclination or metatarsal declination. Treatment directed testing. Treatment directed testing of the medial arch pad size and position can be performed on the patient's foot, shoe insole or on the orthotic shell. This can be used to test for clinical effect, patient tolerance and comfort. Customised positioning. For a custom position, mark the position required on the patient's foot and transfer to the orthotic. Common markings or anatomical landmarks may include the posterior start point, anterior end point, lateral end point, and high point position. Use a pen or lipstick to mark the landmarks on the plantar surface of the patient's foot in a non-weight bearing position. To transpose the mark onto the Dollar Pro orthotic, position the patient on the orthotic in a weight bearing position and apply body weight. The mark will now be transposed onto the orthotic shell giving a guide for the position of the medial arch pad edition. Medial arch pad orthotic edition. Select the required arch pad size and height and place the medial arch pad on the dorsal surface of the orthotic. Secure with strapping tape or hyperfix for treatment directed testing or peel and stick with the self adhesive 3M tape for orthotic manufacture. Protect the pore on arch pad with a top cover for long term use and dispense. Medial arch pad case examples. In this case example, a size medium pour on arch pad was placed on a size medium Dollar Pro 70 soft density full length orthotic shell. The prescription was completed with a 4 degree varus intrinsic rear foot post grind, semi perforated navy durafit top cover, and fit customizations for an ASIC size 10 men's sport shoe. The Dollar Pro full length orthotic is designed to be customised to various footwear types in clinic. In this case example, a size large poron 5mm arch pad was placed on a Dollar Pro 70 soft density full length orthotic shell in a size large. The prescription was completed with a 4 degree 4 foot valgus extension dorsal edition and orange durafit semi perforated top cover. This patient required improved lateral stability and reduction of peak forefoot plantar pressures in a flexible supinated foot type with a low gear toe off pattern. In this case example, a size medium 3mm pour on arch pad was placed on a size medium Dollar Pro 70 soft density full length orthotic shell. The prescription was completed with a black EVA top cover, full length pour on mid layer and a cluffy wedge. 
The Cluffy wedge was used to address a delay in windlass activation, identified on gait analysis and clinical assessment. The aim of the orthotic was to improve first ray function during propulsion and to promote windlass function. In this case example, a size large poron 5mm arch path was placed on the Dollar Pro 80 medium density full length orthotic shell size medium. The prescription was completed with a 4 degree 4 foot valgus extension dorsal addition full length, a 4 mil EVA heel raise and an anthracite durafit semi perforated top cover. This patient required additions to promote function in multiple planes in a complex flexible supinated foot. This is a great example of the additions that can be applied in clinic to a prefabricated orthotic shell to create a highly individualized orthotic. In this case example, a size medium poron 5mm arch pair was placed on a size medium Dollar Pro 70 soft density full length orthotic shell. The patient required increased arch support in a pescapus foot type to address plantar pressures and signs of tissue stress including hyperkeratosis and increased risk of diabetic complications. The arch pad was applied to a soft density full length prefabricated orthotic covered in smooth black durafit. This was added to their general podiatry management plan. Medial arch pad prescription. The modification of an orthotic shell with the addition of a medial arch pad is used to influence foot function and to reduce symptoms of common pathologies. It provides poron under the medial longitudinal arch and will raise the orthotic arch height. It can be used to support the medial arch, improve orthotic comfort and tolerance, in the pes cavus or high arched foot, in the supinated foot, can be used to increase the arch height and contour of an orthotic shell, can also alter the arch high point position, it can be used to increase the medial orthotic reaction force in a normal or laterally deviated subtalar joint axis. It uses the material properties of poron, shape of the pad and position applied to provide cushioning and mechanical change in symptomatic areas or to reduce risk factors. Medial arch pad in clinic modification. Adding a medial arch pad to an orthotic is a common in clinic modification. The following video will show you how easy it is to add a medial arch pad to your orthotics in clinic. 